How's it going guys, it's Regigum here for another Black Ops 3 video. Today we're going to be looking at the best maps to get long shots on. Um, I thought I'd do this as a follow-up video to the long shot camera guide I did last week. So that's actually, ha you know, the kind of class setup, what to do when you're on the map, that kind of thing, and, you know, how to get the long shots as easy as possible. But what I what I would thought I'd do is actually do a follow-up video actually showing you the different maps and which ones are the best. Now, I thought I'd do that for long shots because it's more difficult than, say, getting headshots. On headshots, most maps are, like, applicable and it's really easy. But for long shots, it's a bit more kind of like you, the map really does affect it as well. So what I would suggest is actually, you know, obviously this video here is going to help you. So I hope you find it useful. If you do, just a simple like would be awesome. And if you haven't checked out the long shot guide, go and check it out. I'm sure you have. You're probably coming from there to watch this, but never mind. Um, so let's talk about all the maps. I've kind of gone on all the main areas. And I haven't tried out 100% of these, but most of these do work. Like the majority, I'd say like 90 plus percent of these actually work. And... Um, I've tried a lot of them out on, on actual public matches and I've actually gone to private match and just filmed them and stuff like that. So I'll show you the best ones. So first of all, Newtown. It's very difficult to get a long shot on this map, so I'm going to say kind of avoid that. It's in the Chaos playlist. It won't be in the public playlist for quite a while, I don't think. So you you won't run a, come across it if you stay in the playlist that I suggest in the long shot camo guide video. Um, a Newtown, you, you can get it, but it's quite difficult. So because they've, they've set it up so that you can't like snipe to the other side of the map or anything. So kind of avoid that map, I'd say. Uh, combine, you've got one or two areas. You've got obviously there's it's a very clear three lane map. Um, the lane to the left, obviously depending on which side you spawn, obviously. But um, lane to the left, I'm going to show you here. If you go into uh, one of the buildings and you come out and there's like a little box, you can look across and there's uh, a rock on the other side that someone can hide behind when they come through a little tunnel. I'll show you guys. Uh, that's an excellent spot. And also, if you go up the, in the middle lane, you go up the stairs and obviously round to the corner. Like there's a little sniping area and you look across to a building that's got an open door area. Um, lots of people sit there. I don't know if that counts a long shot, like I say, um, but around the area or at least from that sniper spot, there should be loads of different areas where you can kill enemies. Um, even under people can hide underneath that little building. Um, so in general, that's a, not a bad area. We've then got Stronghold. Stronghold is an excellent map because you've got like this. Um, I think well, whatever building it is, you've got like a, a, win a massive window which they look out of. Enemies look out of, and they look down at the bottom of the hill, and there's a kind of a little building there as well. Or if you're at the bottom by that little building at the bottom of the hill, and if you look up the at the window. Um, in the building generally people around there there's tons of different spots and tons of people are coming through there all the time so it's a very very good map for actually getting those long shots uh like i said and i try to got a lot of long shots on that map um we've then got you know hunted it's all right but again like it's very kind of tricky sometimes to to line up the long shot. i'm not saying none of you're going to get long shots on the maps that i'm not suggesting i'm just saying it's more difficult go for the easier maps so uh evac is a very very good map i will show you there's if you're standing on top of that little area with the sloped kind of windows above the beef like that is if you're playing domination um then that's very good by the little water pool area um although i knew also if you're standing on the roof on the other side you can obviously stand on the roof look at them and shoot them there's always people coming through there or alternatively if you go like just step down from the roof there's a little kind of um like a glass i don't know like a i don't know like a glass area if you if you smash the glass and then kind of pee around the corner of that little hut you can actually get an even better spot and you, you're very concealed so people won't like you see you very well so it's very easy to get kills without actually dying very easily so uh that's a very good map redwood is all right you know there's one or two spots but it's very kind of tricky and i don't like the map because it doesn't flow very well i feel like i die so much so i'd say avoid redwood aquarium you can get again one or two little areas there's one area where you can kind of look into the map into the spawn sorry i don't know if it counts as a long shot I would say perhaps, but you'll be very lucky. And also, it's got another spot. Um, if you look across from one area of the map by the sea, you're looking across to the pool area or you know that wall run kind of area. I'll show you guys on screen. Um, then maybe you might get a long shot, but it's again very difficult. So I'd say aquarium not the best map. So breach that's quite a good one actually as well because you've got like a cor like almost like loads of corridor areas around the edge of the map, and in, in the middle you've got this big kind of open um, court court kind of area courtyard um and you've got a hut in the middle so people will be standing on that or um but either side of the hut you know like there's a on one side there's a building with a hole blasted through the wall so obviously people can see up through there and then also on the other side there's kind of like an open little rooftop area which a lot of people can jump up onto so those are two absolute e excellent areas they're basically sniping areas pretty much but uh they're very very good for getting long shots as well i will show you that's one of the best ways to get long shots uh on that map um uh, we've then obviously there are some other areas but again you know that's probably the best one on exodus i found one but it was kind of tr tricky to set up because it, it just is so i'd say that you can get some on that map 
no, it's not the worst. It's not the best map. It's meh. It's all right. You maybe get one or two or three something during the match, but the other maps are a lot, lot better. So I would say generally you want to avoid that map. So Fringe is like one of the best maps here for long shots because you've got a barn on one side where you can shoot out the window. On the other side, you've got a house with like one window, but also a kind of roof area that people can stand on. It's super, super good for getting long shots. It really, really is. And I absolutely love that map. Get tons of long shots on the map and actually... I love that. I just love the way the map plays. So that's an excellent map. I'd definitely vote for that map if I had the choice. Um, Havoc, I've only ever got one long shot on that map. You, you can do it, but I think the problem with Havoc is that when you set yourself up to get a headshot, uh, long shot, sorry, it's very, very easy to die because that map just, I don't know the way it plays. I just don't like it. So again, it's not the best map for long shots. In fact, it's one of, the, one of the worst, to be honest. And finally, or second to last, Infection. Infection is an excellent map. You've got a church on one side. If you look out the window and push yourself right back against the wall, that's an excellent spot. And on the other side, you've got a house with two windows. And obviously underneath that, there's like a tank. So enemies will constantly be by the tank or through the windows. And constantly you get long shots through there. That is one of the absolute best maps for getting long shots. And finally, we've got Metro. There's one spot which I really liked, which was um, one of the spawns. You, you can jump up on top of a vehicle and look across uh, the middle section. We've got the train. There's obviously a big, big window. And underneath that, you've got an underneath area. Uh, so there's two little areas that enemies can be around. But it's not. They don't come that often. So maybe you want to avoid it. I don't know. That That's what I want to show you guys. So the best map, the absolute best my like favorite five maps we've got stronghold it's an absolutely excellent map like i said you've got lots of long range engagements and people always come there you've got evac again lots of people come to that middle section that b flag area really good map um we've then got breach a breach that middle section is really really good i say if you you know can snipe from one building to the other rooftop area that's an excellent map so fringe is obviously a very good map as i said because um it's got like a barn on one side and um a house on the other side and the thing about these my favorite maps is that they always have lo like long range engagements but at the same time you've got lots of people always coming there so red hot spots that people are always coming to and finally infection it's got two really good spots one of them is by the church like i said and one of them is obviously by the the rock and the other areas so those are really really good maps my favorite maps and i think you guys should go for them check them out and just try them out so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you found it useful then obviously a like a quick like would be awesome if you want to check out other camera guides and stuff i've got that all coming soon but um, if not, no worries. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.